I'm Richard Clark. In this video, I offer comments on Ramana Maharshi's 40 verses on reality, drawn from years of practice. Together, we explore the depths of Ramana's teachings on self-realization and liberation. This week's reading from 40 verses on reality is verse 10. Ramana's words, ordinary knowledge is always accompanied by ignorance and ignorance by knowledge. The only true knowledge is that by which one knows the self through inquiring whose is the knowledge and the ignorance. Ordinary knowledge is knowledge of the mind, reflected knowledge, not direct knowledge. It is reflected knowledge since the mind uses reflected consciousness to light it up with awareness. Direct knowledge is the immediate knowledge that comes as is an integral part of your own existence. Direct knowledge only happens now, in this instant. When I say imaginations, this is not about whether the world is real or the world is unreal. Rather, it is about how we know anything. Our senses perceive. The nerve sends signals to the brain and the brain lights up in such a way that we think we perceive a world and objects in it. Whether the world exists or doesn't exist, the mental processes are what is known in your awareness. Whether it might be from an outside world or entirely from within you as last night's dream, it makes no difference. There is an image in the brain and what you experience is this image. Since the self is not an object, it cannot be known by the senses or the mind. The mind only knows objects. The self, though, is very much known as the base of every thought and experience, as the substratum of reality on which reality rests. Only the self can know the self. What is not the self is not real. It is not the lasting reality. It comes and goes like dust in the winds. How can what is not real really know anything? What's called in this verse ordinary knowledge is mental conceptual, a model of reality, a model complete with desires, aversions, attachments, and fears. The self is known as direct knowledge, like how you know you exist. How do you know the self? Why, directly through something like self-inquiry, maybe using forms of inquiry such as who knows this or for whom is this. This inquiry may bring a blankness of mind. This blankness is known. Who knows this blankness? This knowledge, deeper, 
than the mind is knowledge that doesn't depend on the mind. This is true knowledge. True knowledge is known, just not by the mind. Some note for practice. Consider the story of a snake seen in a dark room. When turning the light on, it is seen only as a rope. What is the benefit in wondering about details of the snake, its history, and the color of its scales? What is unreal is unreal and has no existence. Ignorance is unreal. When you inquire who knows, what do you find? Is it the mind, thoughts, feelings? Who knows this mind? When you look to know your existence, who knows this existence? When you inquire, for whom is this? Is it for the mind or something deeper that knows the mind? Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this Ramana Maharshi video, subscribe, like, and send me a comment.